Hey everybody, it's your man James, uh, back again here to give you some more comic reviews for your uh, edification and enjoyment. Uh, I want to take a moment here and hope that you're all out there uh, doing okay and being safe, um, especially those of you in the uh, Minnesota area, um, for reasons that uh, go far beyond a mere uh, viral infection. I uh, hope you're all doing okay out there and taking care of yourselves. Uh, so here's a little uh, review video to help us all get our mind off our troubles, even if for just a few minutes. Uh, up up here is Batman and the Shadow, number one, uh, from Dynamite and DC Comics, circa 2017, by Scott Schneider, Steve Orlando, and Riley Rosamo. Rosamo. I know I'm probably stepping on that name. And, uh, you know, this would seem to be a, a pretty... Pretty apt uh, team up here. You got two classic characters born out of the 30s, you know, from that crime noir type setting, you know, and uh, facing off against uh, dastardly villains. Um, story starts out here. We meet this guy who's uh, a worker at Arkham Asylum. He he feeds uh, feeds people. He, he's a guy that brings the food. You can see here, you know, he's making his rounds, you know, his name's Lamont Cranston, and he ends up getting murdered. And so, of course, Batman enters the scene, and is the world's greatest detective is going to find out what's going on, only to uh, find out that... The killer may be the shadow himself. And there's a brief little bit of uh, action here, you know, some, uh, you know, back and forth between Batman and the shadow. But it leads to a much bigger mystery for Batman because it turns out Lamont Cranston is also. A name of the shadow so who is who is this guy the shadow he if he's alive he's supposed to be dead but yet he's alive and so if he is alive how did he survive and how you know how is he still alive if being so old so Batman goes along finding uh, old I guess you could say associates of uh, of the shadow trying to find out where he is and what he's doing to find out how he's involved in this murder of this Lamont Cranston guy with the same name. You know, he even goes undercover and is uh, matches Malone uh, guys there trying to get the answers, and he ends up in the shadows' apartment. You know, doing a little lock picking there. He goes in the apartment and he. Searches around and finds a secret room where a lot of his paraphernalia is to be found. Especially one particular piece that uh, reminds him of his early days of, uh, of work. And with this guy right here, Henry Ducard, the world's greatest detective, who helped train Batman back in the day. And so he returns to him. Seeking his uh, his help and guidance on this, and only to find out that well, you know, as it says here, don't worry. He's closer than you think, looking for the shadow. And did you guess? Did you guess the two card was going to end up being the shadow? Did that? Did that? Did that catch your eye? Did you, did you see that coming? You know, it's, you know, and so, you know, um, really it's, it's more of a tell story than a show. They don't really do a lot to advance any kind of real mystery or any kind of real, you know, plot developments between Batman and the Shadow. I mean, you know, he, he shows up on the scene of the murder and it's just, you know, the Bat computer doing all the work for him. You know, and his battle with the shadow, you know, very back and forth, but very ultimately anticlimactic. 
And so when, when he goes to try to find the shadow, find out, you know, just he just basically just asks people, hey, have you seen him? Nope, haven't seen him in years. Nope, haven't heard from him in years. Nope, nope, my dad, nope, he, he doesn't work, he doesn't work with him anymore. You know, and then when he finally does find someone here who does, you know, they uh, they basically just tell him, you know, hey, yeah, just go, just go to this place and this is where you'll find it. And, you know, no real detective work, nothing... Nothing that, that that shows Batman as the world's greatest detective seeking truth, seeking the facts, you know. Like, I think a great idea would have been for them to have, say, a scene where Batman is questioning one of these former associates and then finds out that, you know, he, he, placed, he placed a tracker on them or he placed some kind of secret microphone and they were caught, you know, talk, contacting the Shadow to warn him Batman's on your trail. I mean, something that would have given him you know, something to, to trace, something, you know, just showing some detective skills, some kind of, you know, the, 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 the skills to make Batman Batman. You don't really see much of that in here, you know, and uh, I think, I think Orlando and Snyder, I mean, they just, they just really kind of, I don't know, they, 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 they over, they either overthought it, they didn't think it up enough. Like I said, they don't really show Batman skills, they don't really show much in the way of the Shadow's skills, you know, of course, Shadow doesn't spend much time in the issue, and it's all just a bunch of blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, and then he just, he just finds everything so easily. Oh, look, here's the room. Oh, oh, look, here, I hear a sound. Oh, look, here's a hidden switch. Oh, look, there's the room with all his, his, his masks and his weapons. And, you know, oh, it's, you know, the computer's telling him all the answers. You know, he doesn't have to figure anything out on his own. You know, this is, this is Batman. It's the world's greatest detective and you're not seeing any of that. You know, and you know the story was really, really a letdown. I was really hoping for something cool because, like I said, you got these two characters. They're classic. They both have come out of the 30s. You know, they both from the same time period. You know, you would think this would be a natural fit, something that could naturally be, you know, a great crossover event. And it, it just, the story just did not live up to any of that. And then you have the art where, you know, you'll get a great image like, like this shot here of the, of the shadow. But then you got like. I mean, look, look, look at look at Batman's face right here. Look at that. Look at that face. I mean, that, that's horrible. And then, you know, you know, it may not all be Riley Rosimo's art. You know, some of it could be, you know, the color. But like, here, here's another one. Look at this. After he beats the guy, look, look at this. The guy's beaten. On, and he, what is he? What is that? Is he floating? Batman knocks him out, and yet the guy's somehow floating in the air. What? What is? What is that? I mean, that is horrible. That is horrible drawing. You know, and then, you know, I, I, I don't think that Rosamo's art was helped by the colors, because, I mean, then you get, like, you know, like I said, you'll get, you'll get a, a great sequence, you know, a great, a great image like this. Wow, that's really impressive. Wow, that's awesome. But then, you know, look at his face. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at this coloring. It's like, he's, he's, he's got two different skin tones. You know, it's, it's, they're not even anywhere near close. It's supposed to, it's supposed to show shadowing. And it does nothing of the kind. It looks like he's got a blotchy suntan or something. It's awful. You know, this is yeah. This was this was really very much a letdown. You know, it, it's 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 hit or miss art with a story that meanders and and spends more time telling you rather than than showing you. It doesn't spotlight the characters in any way to make you impressed by them or want to learn more about the mystery. You know, it's just all very just here. Just we'll throw it to you here. The the computer will do all the work for you here. This person will just tell you where to go and. You know, no no real sense of gravitas, no real sense of drama, no real sense of anything. It's it's really, it's really just like blah. I mean, the worst. You know, I mean, it's it's almost like you don't even want to roast it because it's not even so bad. It's not like it's not so bad that it's good or so bad that it's bad and can be roasted. This is just bad and bad. It's just horrible. It's bad work. You know, a three out of three out of ten on this one. This is this was very much a just one. I was hoping this could be a good one. You know, and all this dynamite stuff that uh, the wife got a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> Pardon me. I, I was hoping that something like this could be one of those diamonds in the rough. And, uh, yeah, it definitely was not. This this book is uh, definitely not something you need to check out. It's, it's you know, and it, it's just very sloppy, very, you know, sort of phoned in you know, work without thinking about it, you know, maybe, you know, Schneider and, and Orlando, maybe it's too many cooks spoil the broth type of thing here, because they're working against each other, or not work, they're not working, there's nothing that gelling in the story, and, you know, like I said, Rosemo's art, it, 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 it varies from really awesome to really bad, and, you know, not, not just page to page, but sometimes even panel to panel, and that's, 
you know, like I said, that's just not not great for entertainment value. So yeah, this is definitely definitely not a recommend. You can pass this with, without even looking back. You know, uh, maybe, better luck next time, guys. Maybe you can do a another type of crossover with these two. And maybe get some guys in there who understand the characters, understand what they do better, and and actually make a real story of it. Because it certainly wasn't one here that was uh, worth worth your time. So yeah, you definitely give this one a pass. And uh, that'll about do it for this review. I uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, drop me some. Uh, notes down there in the comments and if you didn't enjoy it uh, let me know in the comments as well because i would like to hear what you guys got to say um make sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button there and uh, join up so you can be sure to not miss out any new stuff that comes out and uh hopefully i'll be back for you soon here with some more reviews and other things too so until then take care